Hi Cherie, can you hear me? I've had problems getting on, I've tried. This is my third try. I know there was loads of people waiting. I could see everybody's comments, but no one could hear me talking. So I'll have to wait, obviously, for people to come back on. But if people can just let me know that they can hear me, that will be a start. I can see myself on my phone now, which I couldn't before. So it looks as though it's working. So I can see Cherie, I can see Anita, I can see Susan, and I can see Charmaine. But I don't know whether any of you can hear me. Oh, I've just seen Cherie says, hi all, yes, can hear you. Oh, brilliant, right, okay. So um, I don't know what happened. I, I scheduled the live and I hit the live button and I could see loads and loads of comments from people all talking to each other and I was talking but I you clearly couldn't hear me and I also have my phone on when I do my lives and I watch it on my phone as well to make sure if anything goes wrong and I couldn't see my live stream on there so um, I had to end that first one then I tried again and it said that there was a server error and now this is the third time so Thanks for that, Cherie. So I can see Diane, I can see Den, I can see Maria. Hi, Ashley, I can hear you. Was on the other stream, right? But Maria, I, I wasn't get. I was talking and nobody was replying to me, so it wasn't, it wasn't going out. I don't think so. I had to end it. Uh, Diane is saying yes, so I'm guessing that means you can hear me. Cherie's saying, and how are you, lovely lady? Hope your back is better now. Cherie, thank you. My back is tons better. I have to say, I've got through, what day are we on? Sunday. So since Tuesday, I think, without taking any painkillers whatsoever. And without having any pain when I sleep. So that's definitely, hopefully, going in the right direction. Um, so now my little panic is over because obviously clearly you are seeing me, even though you're only seeing my... Maria, I don't know how to tell anybody apart from unless I post on my community board. Let me see if I can post on my phone on my community board. Um, let's see if I can just do this on my phone and let's see if I can get everybody else over. Right, I'm just posting that on my community board. Um, hi everyone, I had a problem with the live stream. I had to try three times, but I am now live on my channel. So I'll post that and hopefully people will come over. Let me just get it back up on my phone. Um, oh brilliant, glad the pain is under control. I didn't get any notification for the other stream but I did for this one, maybe that was the problem. I honestly don't know, sure, I don't know what was going on. I was, I was thought I was being organized like I, I usually try to be. And I scheduled everything and I hit the live button and everybody's comments that were all there waiting were all popping up in the comments section. And I was talking and nobody was replying back to me. So that's when I thought, well, no one can clearly hear me. So I ended the live went live again but it said there was a server error so I literally had to come out of the software that I use go back in and create this third live stream so so I can see Julia is saying reception great in 
P-A in the USA. Is P-A, where's that? What's, tell me what PA is. It's probably really obvious. But I'm sorry. My, I think whenever I have a, a bit of a panic like this, my brain goes to fudge. <laughs> um, so hopefully people will start coming over. Charmaine saying, I only had a notification for this stream. Okay. I think what happens when I schedule them, if anybody goes onto my channel, I think they can kind of sit there waiting because uh, I think it it might say, you know, going live at five or something. Um, oh, Marcia, brilliant. Thank you. You've posted the URL to the other people. Oh, thanks for that. Um, so I think that's, I'm not sure I may be wrong. I don't know because... I generally just stumble across lives. I don't generally sit and wait for people. Pennsylvania. I was going to say Pennsylvania as well, but I thought that's P-E, so I couldn't work out. But okay, perfect. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for that, Anita. Um, I didn't want to say it and make myself look stupid, but now I've obviously made myself look even more stupid. <laughs> Thea saying, yay, working now. Thea, sorry, were you over on the other thing? I couldn't. You were all chatting away to each other and I was there talking and no one was hearing me. Cherie's saying Pennsylvania, isn't it? So it must be because you all know better than me. Um, okay, so I think we'll just give a few more minutes to a few more, you know, in case anybody else is coming over because Thea's saying yay working now. So hopefully, because I know Barbara was over, I saw Barbara Harty's name in the chat and yet I can't see her on here. So I know she was over there. Isn't it rubbish technology? It's great when it works and it's absolute rubbish when it doesn't. Um, <sighs> Have we got a spammer? Just deleted something. Alison D, hi. Alison D saying no illness, whoop whoop. Is that you, Alison, or me? Um, hi, Lynn. So Lynn saying this was the only notification that you received. Okay. Chris Yu is saying hello from Northeast Ohio. Hi and welcome Chris You, Thea saying no I was on here, I logged out completely and logged back into YouTube. Yeah I had to log out of the software that I used to do the streams and log back in and then it let me on the third time. I just don't know what went, what's, what's gone wrong tonight. So many people from the US now Ashley. Yeah, we have a lot of people from the US, don't we? It's lovely though, isn't it, that everybody comes on from all around the world. You meant Jim and you, brilliant. Is Jim doing okay? And Maria's saying th that's what she did. She logged out and came back on. And Alice, Alison's saying, hope my back is better. Um, well, I wouldn't say it's better, but as I, as I just said, but you may not have been here, Alison. Um, I've gone since Tuesday without having to have any painkillers. And I've been able to sleep at night without pain, so it's tons better. All right, and you're all chatting amongst yourselves now. Right, so um, I've had a busy week and not a busy week, if that makes sense. I've kind of been busy, but doing things that weren't really crafting, so... Things have taken up my time. Um, what's Charmaine saying? I hope you are going to inspire me as you always do. I haven't used my scan and cut for months. Oh, bless you, Charmaine. Well, I don't know that I'm going to inspire you or not because I've kind of wimped out a bit tonight and I'm going to do a project from Canvas Workspace um, because I've not done one of these for ages. I was hoping to try and maybe do something with the rotary blade again like we did last time. 
but I just I don't know what it is I just don't seem or haven't seemed to be able to get round to doing or planning or trying anything out this week um, I have a few things going on at the moment with Hannah and a golf and my brain is like completely it's like fudge I don't seem to be able to concentrate she tells me things and I can't remember stuff that she's planning to do and such a lot going on so um I just haven't really been able to to do what I was planning um to do for you so let me see what Alison's saying now um Jim has a bit of a panic now and again. We're getting there. You'll feel better in yourself with known painkillers. Hopefully I will. And, and poor Jim, I hope... Um, I hope that settles down for him anyway. Because that, that, can't, that can't be nice, can it, for him really? Do you know what I mean? That's... Um, Cherie, Cherie is saying, shame on you, Charmaine. Bless you. I've been online... With the card summit, it was brilliant. I learned so much. How is Eddie? Eddie is getting bigger by the day. Um, he was at the vet on Thursday for his regular monthly check. And he was 8.9 kilograms. Um, he seems to be very, very intelligent, but he's quite headstrong, but he's a character. And he always wants to pull on his lead. And because I've had my bad back, obviously that's not been good for me. So somebody suggested a slip lead. So I've been trying a slip lead for the last couple of weeks. And he can literally be absolutely pulling on it with his tongue hanging out of his mouth. And he just will not heal. So I did some work with a trainer. This is another reason why I've been kind of a bit sidetracked um, I did some work with a trainer and she suggested I don't know if any of you do this um, doing a figure of eight on his slip lead so you basically put it round his neck very very big and then you twist it into a figure of eight and you put it over his nose and then you tighten the slip lead so I did that yesterday and it's the best walk I've had in all the months we've had him he walked at my side no problem and then I took him, I took him out again earlier on a longer walk on it. And he was brilliant. And I take some little treats with me and I give him a little treat every now and again, just to, so he knows that he's doing the right thing. Um, but hopefully the figure of eight is working. But his separation anxiety is awful. Um, so I can see that Marcia's asking what breed is he? So... Um, Marcia, he's known as a show Cocker Spaniel, so he's not a working Cocker Spaniel. Um, I think some people call them English show Cocker Spaniel, so he's a golden colour um, and he's lovely. Um, hi Jamila, hi Ashley and all, has everyone followed us here now? I'm not sure because I can't see Barbara's name, but I could see her before when you all couldn't hear me. So Alison's saying, I'm cleaning our oven. <laughs> what an exciting life you lead. Um, Maria's saying, I'm here to Jamila. There's a harness that you can get that has a pull lead on it that when they pull it tightens, just like you're saying you do. Yeah, that's what we call a slip lead here in the UK. And literally, he was just still pulling and pulling and pulling. The only thing that was doing was making his tongue hang out of his mouth, choking himself and literally like drooling. Um, so you, what you do is you cross it over the nose while it's over, around the neck as well. Um, and, and touch wood, I'm touching my desk. As I say, I took him out with it yesterday. He still like kind of falls to the floor and he's trying to get it off with his, his front paws. And I just literally yank him up and I say, come on, you know, you know, you can walk with it kind of thing. And when he starts walking again properly, I give him a treat. So... As I say, I did that for the first time yesterday and then did it today on a longer walk and he walked brilliantly at my side. So, and and he's funny because I think because he's got this kind of anxiety, when whenever he, he goes on a walk, 
he loves walking um hannah and i took him on a really long walk on i think it was tuesday um but he's really funny when he knows we're on our way back to our house because i live in a village and i live up on the top of a hill um like right up above our village and when i'm coming up our lane he literally can drag us up our lane because it's like i know i'm on my way home i know i'm on my way home and sometimes he can be like you know commando style like right low to the ground with his paws dragging along um which (laughs) which is a devil um but with this slip lead even when we were on our way back up our lane he was walking at my side so i'm going to persevere with that um and now we just have to try and get over this anxiety. I mean, it doesn't help when you work from home like me, does it really? Do you know what I mean? Because I'm a full-time stamping up demonstrator now. Um, so when you're at home all the time, it's difficult. But Hannah's telling me that I have to keep going out every day and leaving him and see if he gets any better. Which, you know, I, I was trying to do. But she says whether I need to go out or not now, I've got to go out even if I go to the supermarket and go and get me breakfast, which is ridiculous. Um, so I went out she needed some things yesterday and she was working so I left him for an hour literally dead on an hour because my ring doorbell told me what time I left and what time I got back Um, and it was I think an hour and one minute so I'm going to have to keep doing that and just see what happens Um, right so let's try and crack on I'm really sorry I'm jibber jabbering away here now looking forward to tonight's crafting this with you eddie has changed after seeing that photo of him the other day he has i'm going to try and get a more updated one because that one is because he goes to um daycare half a day twice a week um now because he was getting anxious at night when all the other dogs were being collected so they've asked if he can only go for half a day f- for a while um and they have like big settees and all sorts of things that they play on and jump on. And he's learned to jump. So he thinks he can jump on the chair now and sit on the cushion, um, which is ridiculous. Um, so, yeah, so it, 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 he looked all kind of squashed up in that photo I posted the other day. But I'm going to try and get another one of him sitting nicely and then you'll be able to see. So Cherie's saying, yes, the only way to get him used to it is to make it normal every day for varying amounts of time. Yeah, that's what Hannah said. We've got to try. And we're even thinking about getting like a little indoor camera just to see what he does, because he he has a command where he goes and sits on, on the bottom of the stairs and that's like his place. And if I just pop out to the bin or something like that or to the car, when I come back, he'll still be in that place till I release him. That's something that I've been working on with the trainer. Um, but I heard once he once he heard the car and our gates open, he started barking. But then when I came home, he was barking. But the problem is, he's that clever. We have an electric gate and he can hear it. So I don't know when I came home yesterday and he was barking. I don't know whether he was barking because he heard the gate. Um... So this is why I think we need to get invest in a little camera or something and just see if he does actually stop barking. Um, Try putting a sheet, a T-shirt of yours with him. One from the laundry that has your smell. Okay, that's a good idea because I've like I left him toys and I left him water and I left him like his blanket, which he loves to chew on. Can you put him in another room so he can't see or hear you? Tried that. I've tried that. Like now I've come in here into my office, which is in a different part of the building to where he is. And I could hear him barking when I left him. I told him place and he was quiet while I locked the door. And then I could hear him barking, but then he did seem to stop. But I was having troubles trying to get on here. So whether I just couldn't hear him or not, I don't know. But then Hannah came home, so she's with him anyway. He was only literally in there for less than five minutes on his own. Um, but anyway, we're working on it and we'll, 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 we'll carry on and we'll see what happens. Um, no, the doorbell only shows me the outside. It shows me the drive. Like if people are coming on and off the drive or deliveries and that kind of thing, it doesn't show me inside the house unless I take it off the door and put it in. That's a thought. Is that what you mean, Jamila? I could try that. Mm, That's a thought. Might try that. Right, come on, let's crack on. So, Scan and Cut's gone to sleep because I've been on chatting for that long. Um, 
let me see, let, let me go to my cameras and let's see if we can get this. Um, let's see if we can get this scan and cut view. Right, you should all, oh hell, I've just moved my life. You should all be able to see my scan and cut screen, hopefully. Um, I'm still waiting for it to come up on my phone. Like I said, I'm not really very organised. I've not even got my mat ready or anything. Okay, right, I can see my scan and cut screen, so just excuse this noise for one minute. So that's the cover going off my mat. So, let's see what we can all see now. Was thinking it would show you the gate. Um, it, it would show me the gate, but I don't know whether I'd hear him barking. I'll have to go back at the footage and have a look. But but you, with you saying that now, that what what I could probably do is unhook it off the door and put it in the house and see if that works. Right, let's see. So, I did have a thumbnail in that other um, YouTube live, my first YouTube live, showing you the project. But obviously, this has all gone out the window now because you were all there, but for some reason, I wasn't there. So, I've got no thumbnail or anything to show you. So, you're just going to have to bear with me. So, I sent a file over, I don't know when, this morning, I think. Um of a project that's in Canvas Workspace and it's called Handbag Handbag Treat Box or something like that. It's when you get to Canvas Workspace, it's I went online. I don't know if it'll be in a different place if you go on your computer, but if you get to Canvas Workspace online and just go to all the Canvas Workspace projects, it's around about the second or third row. Okay, so I sent it over. So I'm going to go retrieve data from Canvas. And hopefully it'll be here. Here we go, there it is. So the first thing I'm gonna do is save it into the machine because I need to cut it over several mats. Now I've lost all your comments. Um, hi JD Cougar, hope you're okay. So I'm going to say OK and save it into the machine. So hopefully you can all see this. I'll see if I can just zoom you in a little bit more. So Jamila's saying, I have looked at this box for a long time to try and never done it. OK, well, we're going to try and do it tonight. So I've got it saved into the machine. Now it's in three sections. Well, the bag is in two, and then there's these little funny things down here in the corner, which I'm not sure whether you'll see. So I'm going to select one bit, say OK. Oh, no, I'm not going to do that. Say Select one bit, say edit, and send it to the trash. And I'm going to select these other little bits and send them to the trash for now. So I've just got this. So now I need a piece of card. So Jamila's saying, is it that big? Um, I don't know how big it is because I've not cut it. So that's what we're going to do. But it looks as though it fits on a 12 by 12 piece of card diagonally. But but what I was going to do, um, if, this, if it works out and we get some time and nothing else happens with this live stream, I was going to see if we can shrink it down and make it smaller as well. So for now, we'll just try and cut it as it is. So let me find some cardstock. I need some 12 by 12 cardstock. So as I say, this is all winging it a bit because I've no idea 
what's going to happen with this. I'll just have to see what colour of cardstock I've got in 12 by 12 and that's what we're going to cut it in. Okay, so I've got a piece, oh I'm running out of space, hang on. You know you can't see this, I'm putting a piece of a kind of peachy colour uh, 12 by 12 card on my mat and I'm just going to load it into the machine and this is stamping up cardstock um, and I can't remember what colour it is it could be it's one of the pinks it could be blushing bride or something like that let me see if we can just move the camera down a little bit so you should be able to see a piece of card on my mat okay so I'm just going to start this off for now because it does um, it's got a lot of dash lines in it um, so we can make it let's say okay select cut we can get it cut in hopefully and then we can see what everyone is saying Right, let me see what you're all saying because I've got comments on my iPad and I've got comments on my phone but the ones on my phone seem to come through quicker. So JD Cougar saying hurt my back last week but I will I will mend just more slowly or oh, JD Cougar backs you know join join my club with backs it's awful isn't it I really do hope that you do start to mend quickly. This second back problem of mine has been about nine weeks it was 12 weeks last year um, get well soon they're saying thanks will do oh yes please is that to making it smaller sorry to hear that JD Cougar what are we making today okay so it's it's called the hand I think it's called handbag shaped treat box and it's from canvas workspace and it's one of the free projects and Jamila's saying it's very cute. So, as I say, the colours probably aren't going to be that great for this, but we'll see what we've got. So it might have to be pink and purple at the minute, but I'm not so sure whether the other piece will fit on a piece of A4 or not. So we'll see what happens. So Cherie's saying, Ashley question, where did you get the card pockets that you store your 12 by 12 in? Um, where did I get the pockets? Okay, right, so let me flip cameras while that's doing that. Yeah, bear with me one minute and then you'll see better. So this particular one that I've got my this 12 by 12 card in, Stampin' Up! used to sell these, they were the memories and more pockets and they had an extra little bit on one side that had holes in and they went into a binder but they stopped selling them but what I, what I use now, let me try and find one so the ones I use now are these um, they're a little bit bigger, they're a bit flimsier if I'm honest, but I do use them and these are called LP covers and I think I got these off eBay. So you know like the LPs, the old records, the big, is it 33s, revolutions, you know the big LP, not the little um, 7 inch records. Um, these are called LP covers, I'm sure they are, and and I'm, I'm, I'm thinking I got them off eBay. And basically what I do, I cut the label off my Stampin' Up! packet and I slide the piece of card that comes with the Stampin' Up! paper or cardstock and then I, I slide this in just to give it a bit of stability and then I put all my papers in. Um, they're quite roomy. Let me see what, what size they are. They are they're about 13 inches. 13 inches square, so we don't know if that's any help. 
Um, so JD Cougar says, I'm using ice as I watch. Yeah, I used to alternate between ice and heat, but to be perfectly honest, I found heat better for me. So I used a hot water bottle. So I used to use a hot water bottle on the pain on the bottom of my right side of my back, which is where the pain s starts. And then this time it went all down my right leg and it was all worse in my right leg and my knee. So I used to put it on my back for about five or 10 minutes and then I used to put it on my knee. Um, and I found painkillers and the hot water bottle helped me better. But when I did it last year and the pain was all going down my left leg, I was doing heat and water, um, heat and ice alter alternating. Um, so Jamila's saying to JD, oh, sending you gentle hugs. Oh, bless you. Cool, thank you. I have no stamping up 12 by 12 at all. It's my next purchase. Do you know, it's funny. I've, I've, I've only got this one packet of 12 by 12 cardstock. Got look, you know, well, I won't say loads, but I've got quite a bit of designer series paper, but actual cardstock. This is the only pack I've got. I think I need to invest in some more. So I'm just going to take this off the mat so you can see it now. And then we'll cut the second half. So this is move all this out of the way so this is what it's looking like so far but I'm thinking that I'm going to try and make it smaller but let's just go with what we've got for now so I'm just going to flip you back to the scan and cut and put you back to the screen and I've lost my stylus now oh there it is um, so I'm going to say OK because that's finished. I'm going to hit the home button and say yes, it's OK to delete all the patterns. I'm going to go to retrieve data, this time from the machine because if you remember I saved it into the machine when, I, when it came over via Wi-Fi. I'm going to jump to the last page, call the design up again and then I'm going to say OK. I'm going to select the one that I've just cut, hopefully. Let's use edit and use the arrows to get to the bag, because I've just cut the kind of bag base. So I'm gonna send that to the trash and say okay. And now we've got this piece to cut. And there's those other funny little bits down there which I want to try and cut separately. So let's try and get a hold of them and send them to the bin. So this bit now I'm going to cut in purple. Like I say, the colour scheme on this isn't probably going to be great. It's just, this is just what I've got handy in 12 by 12. But we'll try and resize it smaller and then we'll see if we can make it in anything a bit more appealing. So let's get this one going and then... we can see what everyone's saying. So JD Cougar's saying, love those old LP records, have several from the 60s, 70s and 80s, can't play them because the player didn't last that long as the records. Yeah, we've got a stack as well. Um, I find heat much better. My doctor told me to use a heat pad. I also use a TENS machine, which helps a lot. That's a good idea. Um, Cherie saying, Ashley, question, if you had gone back to Wi-Fi rather than the machine, would that file still have been there or would it have gone? No, it should still be there. We'll have a look in a minute. I'm sure it, it stays there even though you've saved it into the machine. So we'll have a look at that in a minute. So let's, while that's cutting, hang on, let me try and... So you should be able to see purple cardstock now and that's, it's cut and it's doing the dash lines. So let's flip back to the desk and let's have a look at this. So this is what we've got. So while that's cutting, I'm gonna find my bone folder. And move this back round a little bit. And I'm just gonna start folding on all these dashed lines while we're waiting. And I've lowered my camera, so I'm trying to not like knock myself out. 
with my overhead camera. So if all of a sudden it goes all wobbly, you know I've hit my head. So I'm just folding on the score lines that the machine's put in for me. I think it wants me to fold them that way looking at this one, because that one seems to want to go like that. So we'll flip them the other way. Okay, so that's what we've got so far. Now I know it needs to have this other piece wrapped round it, but let's just see how big it is. So if we measure this, this is three and seven eighths by three and seven eighths by two and a half. So it's quite a substantial bag okay so that one's done now so I'm going to peel this off and bring you back to my overhead um, just going to put these scraps back in here for now because I'll cut them up and make them a bit more workable scraps later. We need to now cut those other bits. So what colour are we going to do? The, I've knocked my phone over with my comments on. Um, Easter colours today, love the lavender and peach. <laughs> Um, I just remembered I broke my arm and Sooty came and lay on it. Constant body heat really helped with the with pain. I'm not saying you should have been your pet as a heat pad. <laughs> she did it willingly. Nice one, Jamila. That's so funny. Quite a nice size, that. It's quite substantial, I'm thinking. But I'm thinking, can we make it smaller and it might make nice, you know, table favours or wedding favours but let's let's do this one first and then we'll see but I've got those funny little things to cut um let's see if we've just got some white for that a scrap of white so let's go back to the scan and cut machine and we'll do um what Cherie's just asked so we'll say home and yes okay to delete all patterns so to answer Cherie's question even though I retrieved it from canvas and I've saved it into the machine if I go to retrieve data now and say from canvas it should still be there until you send another file over so there it is okay so the answer is yes it stays there and it will stay there I think even if you turn your machine off it stays there until you send another file over and if you, once you send another file over from Canvas Workspace, it kind of knocks this one off and then your other one's there. So um, let's just, while we've got it here now, we'll just use the arrows to delete these two. And all as we've got left now are these funny little pieces here and I'm just gonna do them in white for now. Um, doesn't look as though they're very big though so I've got a scrap of white hopefully here I don't know how sticky that part of my mat is so I'm going to move I'm going to move them over so I'm going to move them over into this section and I've got a piece of white card on my mat I'm just going to say okay okay select and cut and start and while that's doing that We'll come back here and we'll have a look at this one. So you can see, not sure how well you'll see, but you, the, you can see hopefully the fold lines. So I'm just going to now fold and burnish. On these fold lines 
let's see what we're saying Karine is saying hi everyone no notification came through oh Karine, i'm sorry i went live twice and i could see everyone chatting away amongst themselves but no one could hear me so it took me three goes to get on so i'm sorry Kareen. um and we've literally been chatting for about 15 20 minutes before i even started this project but if you don't know if you've not heard me say it's it's a handbag shaped treat box that's in canvas workspace for free and I've just sent it over to the machine and I'm cutting it at the minute at the size it is but I'm going to try and make it smaller and let's see how it looks smaller. It's Cherie saying it's on canvas workspace yeah and then everyone's saying hello to Kareem. Okay so let's keep going. Um, Barbara hi um i could see you chatting away but no one could hear me so i had to end the live stream and i think it was marcia said she posted a link to let people know that i'd come back on it took me three goes to get on barbara i'm really sorry and it wouldn't refresh for you then you had a phone call but it looks good um you are making me sweat thinking about what you've done alison Oh, right. Let me let's 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 crack on with this and see how we get on. So, I think this goes in here like this. But you've got to have these other funny little bits stuck on here. So let's get these bits off the mat that I've just cut in white. I'm going to unload my mat and just pop these little funny corner bits off. I'm just going to put the mat back in the machine. So these stick on here. So let's get some glue. Vicky's saying, oh, so I'm not as late as I thought. I was just got done with a Zoom class and my local demo. Vicky, I had problems getting on again. It took me three goes. Everyone was sat there chatting. I could see everybody's comments, but I couldn't get on. So I had to end that stream, which I'd scheduled to start at five. And um, then I went live again, but it wouldn't work. Um, so I had, to, I had to end that one, come out of the software that I use for streaming and go back in and third time, look in touch wood. So we're here and we've been chatting away. So, right, so these funny little things I think I like reinforcers to help this fasten and this, this stick on like so. So I'm just bringing my silicone mat in so I don't get glue all over the place. But I was organised. I'd scheduled my live for five o'clock. I went, I, I, I hit the live button at five to five. Everyone was all there chatting away and I'm saying hello and no one could hear me. So best laid plans and everything right so you just need to make sure that what side you're putting your glue on these because they obviously go on a certain way and and I'm not you know being 100% precise with these see I nearly stuck that one on wrong now because we just want to see how this is going to go together I think that one goes that way so just kind of dry fit them on your corners if you make this so you know they're going in the right place. So we've got the four little corner bits on. And then I can't remember whether that goes on the outside or whether it goes on the inside. Let's have a look if, if it fits. I think it goes like this, but I could be totally wrong. Let's have a go and see. I know you might not be able to see very much at the moment. So 
So it goes like that and they lock into each other. But I can't remember whether this purple bit goes on the inside or on the outside. Let's try it on the inside. On the outside, I mean. So does that fit better if it goes that way? Let's see. Put that down. Bring that around. Bring that around. Hook them in. I don't know where, which, way, where, which way it goes. I think it goes on the inside, you know, not the outside. I think it goes that way. So I'm going to glue it in this way. So we'll use a bit of wet glue. Because it seems to fit better on the inside. So that goes in there I think like that right let me see what you're all saying Ooh. so other than this bit of glue that glues these two bits together I don't think you need any other glue to fasten this I think it literally hooks together so can you see what I've done so I've got the bag with the purple bit glued on the inside at the base okay and then you bring the sides of the bag up this bit folds over to kind of hold it together and then you bring these up and they lock into each other like that probably rip it now trying to pull it pull it through so let's move the gluey mat so that's your bag so that's how it looks front and back so it's this kind of belly band the purple bit that you can see here that holds it together and like I say, we measured it before. And what did we say? Three and seven eighths by three and seven eighths by, was it two and a half? Hang on. Yeah, two and a half. So it's, oops, sorry about that. So it's quite substantial. Um, Vicky's saying that looks like the photo in canvas on the outside. So, you think it goes on the outside, Vicky. It didn't seem to sit as well on the outside, unless it's just my cardstock. It seems to fit better with the belly band being stuck on the inside. But I think it's um, super, it's quite cute, isn't it? Do you know what I'm thinking? Somebody said Easter colours before, and I'm thinking, yeah, there's... Um, there's Easter egg shapes in the machine. If you cut it this full size, it's as I say, it's quite substantial. You could put mini eggs and things inside it. And then if you glued Easter eggs or a rabbit to the belly band, then when the belly band was open, they could get into the bag to get their Easter eggs. So Vicky's saying, I looked at the PDF and it is glued inside, perfect. It does seem to fit better gluing it on the inside. So at least I've done that bit right. But yeah, if you stuck your decoration to the belly band, then once you opened it, they could get their Easter eggs out of it and all the decoration is stuck to this belly band. So should we see if we can make it smaller and see how it looks smaller? Can you get inside without dismantling it? So if you lift this kind of flap up, no is the answer you've got to undo the belly band Barbara so like I say there's no glue holding this together at all apart from the purple bit that's glued inside to the base 
Um, but I'm thinking that would look super cute as an Easter, an Easter egg um, gift for somebody. And like I say, stick your decoration onto the belly band. So Jamila's saying you want me to cut it smaller. Okay, so let's go back to the machine. Let's say okay to delete all patterns and hit the home button. And I'll go and retrieve the file again. Um, I've saved it in the machine, so I'll get it from the machine. I know it's the last page. So now if we set it on the mat and I drag these little corner bits into the middle and we'll go edit, object edit, no, let's hang on, we'll go three boxes, select everything, say okay and let's go to, so that should have selected all three parts, let's go to object edit and group then we'll go to the size icon and should we try percentage rather than adjusting it in height what percentage should we say we want it should we say 60 or 75 percent something like that smaller would be lovely for wedding favors that's what i was thinking but i don't know how much smaller should we say 75 percent and see what happens and then if we make it smaller I might be able to do the the bag bit the bit I did in the peach might be able to do that in white and then we could do a colored belly band and see what happens Did we get a piece of white cardstock out anyway? 75, Nancy's saying, yeah. My SDX 900 has the most beautiful favour boxes built in that you're using. There are, there are boxes built into my machine. JD Cougar's saying 50. I've got two for 75 so far. What does anybody else think? I think 50 will be too small, personally. Well, I'll tell you what we'll do. I'll try reducing it by 75% on the screen and seeing if we can get it from A4 cardstock. And if not, we'll make it smaller. So we'll say percentage and I'll take it down to 75. And we'll say, okay, I'll ungroup it. So now I've got all the bits separate i'll say okay okay and i'll save it into the machine and this is 75 percent charmaine's saying 60 and it's saying to me do you want to overwrite or create a new i want to create a new because i don't want to overwrite the original file sheree's saying i think you missed my comment above right let me go back then You glue the bottom onto the outside according to the video, but then someone said do it on the inside. 50% um, would make it two. Yeah, I don't know whether that's too small though. And then JD, my grands would love that. They would play with it for a while until it, it tears. I think it'd make a great little Easter box, I really do. Like I say, this stuff in the machine, isn't there, that you can, or if you're a, you know, a stamper and you've got stamps with rabbits and things on, you could stamp something and fussy cut it with your machine or with your scissors. Let's, let's do 75% for now and see what happens. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to delete the bits I don't want for now. And I'm going to see if we can get this on a piece of white A4 cardstock. So I'm going to scan my mat. Hopefully you can still all see the machine. So let's say, okay, 
and do a background scan and start. Now, we, because we've made it smaller, we might have to rotate it to fit on A4. So JD Cougar saying, I don't think you want it too much smaller. Dennis saying, I think the only way in is via the belly band. Yeah, it looks that way. And Sean, is it, is saying it would be too small at 50. Right, well, we'll try the 75 for now. Okay, so I'm going to select it. I'm going to go to Edit, Object Edit, and I'm going to use the rotate and I'm going to rotate it so it fits on my A4 piece of card better. So I'm going to, let's, does not, no, 90 is too much. So I'm going to do it in 10% increments. So it just fits on my piece of A4 card better. We'll say, okay, okay. I can see my white piece of card. It looks as though it's all in place. We'll start and we'll cut it. And let's see what happens. Um, so next question now then. I'm cutting the actual base of the handbag in white. Let me flip back while that's doing that. Should we cut the belly band in card again or should we try some designer series paper? So let me know what you think. Let me flip you back to the machine. I know you can't see it cutting but you can see it's telling you it's cutting. So Jamila's saying that already seems a lot smaller at 75%. Oh, did you save the new size first? Yes, I did, Cherie. So when I brought it over and I retrieved it originally, I saved it originally into the machine and now I've made it seven, at 75% and I've saved it again. Okay, so I've, I've, in my machine now I've got the same project but in two different sizes. Smaller would make lovely wedding favours. That's what I thought, Alison. So I think it could be quite useful. So, you know, these free projects that we have in Canvas Workspace, we've, you know, we've done several of them, haven't we, over the years? Um, and I just think we sometimes overlook them. So Jamila's saying designer, make it posh. DSP, designer. Okay, so let's have a look what we've got. It's a hand. So if we think in posh, if we think in posh, should we do something like, what's this called now? Abstract, no, what's this called? Can't remember. Expressions in ink. So should we do something like this that's got like the, the gold in it? Or... So like Cherie was saying before about these plastic wallets, see this one's ripped, um, but this designer series paper is 48 sheets, so it's quite heavy. And it's my, my fault really, because I literally just yanked it out of where I keep it and split it, and I've just been too lazy to put it in another pocket, but I will do. Or should we just do something, you know, like this? I'm not bothered, any, any paper. Um, if we think in posh, I think maybe the expressions in ink paper, gold stripes, someone's saying. JD Cougar's saying, so most of you are saying designer series paper or pattern paper. Oh, paper would be lovely. Gold stripes, love the green, someone said. Um, <clears throat> so we've got the green, we've got the gold stripes. On the second paper down, gold and green ones, I think you mean that. Those pink scraps would be nice if they are just the right size. Let's see what we've got. Right, so, 
let's get this one off the mat while we're, we're waiting. So here it is, smaller. So if you remember, it's obviously looks a lot smaller than it did before. Um, so now we're just trying to decide what colour. So we've got, hang on, so we've got gold stripes, love the green. Those, those pink scraps would be nice if they're the right size. Green and gold flower. Um, green and gold, please. Use scraps since you have them. Green, lovely, but gold stripes are posh. <laughs> right, let's go back to the scan and cut machine and call the file up and see how big it is. So we'll say, OK, finish cutting. We'll hit the home button and say, OK, we'll retrieve the data. We'll go to the machine. We'll jump to the last page and here's the smaller file. So we'll set it on the mat. We'll go to edit. We'll get rid of the bag part because that's what I've just cut. I'm going to get rid of those little bits because I don't want to cut them just at the minute. And now we've got this. So, we'll go object edit, we'll go to the rotate again and we'll, no I don't want that, we'll rotate it in 10% increments to try and get it a bit more horizontal and then we can work out better what the size is. So that looks okay, so we'll say okay. Um, I didn't want to do that. I want to go to the size and see how big it is. So it's saying it's about just over eight and a half inches wide, just under five inches tall. So now we know that we can work out what we've got that will fit. Work, um, will we be able to cut it in? So we should be able to cut it in pink and peach flowers. We should be able to cut it in. Let's just see how wide this piece is. So we should be able to cut it in gold stripes and we can either have the gold stripes vertical or horizontal. Um, what did I say? Just over eight and a half by... That one's not quite big enough, the pink. We could do it in the green. That's a big piece. Um, let me just find any other scraps and see what we've got. Let's see if this piece is big enough. So it's big enough in width, in length. Right, okay, so I've got a piece of green and gold that will save me chopping into a piece of 12 by 12, but I'm not bothered. So the choices are green and gold, gold stripe or pink flowers um so come on let's let's decide green and so just say green stripes or flowers because i'm sure it will cut from any of these three so you tell me green stripes or flowers and i'll just try and make a bit of room on my desk and put all this away. This is still current paper, by the way. So any of you that buy Stamping Up, Expressions in Ink Designer Series paper, that's what this is. It's still current. It's in the big annual catalogue. Um, so if you like it and you want to buy it, it's 155464, the item number. So let me get rid of these and make some room on my desk. And then I'll wait for you all to tell me. Um, let's bring this back in. So let's see what we've got. Vicky's saying in Canvas Workspace, help license, it says you can sell what you make except Disney. Yeah, that was my understanding of anything that's even in the machine. You can 
sell anything you make with it. Um, but not the Disney, obviously. Uh, Barbara's saying it's a small area for the biggish pattern. I think definitely the stripes. Right. I think let's have a look because we're going to be we're going to be um, we've got one for stripes. We've got green, green and gold flowers, green and gold, green. Oh, my days. Hang on. So we've got green and gold. We've got one, two, three, four for green and gold so far. Then we've got one, two, three for the flowers. Then we've got another two for the green. So that's six. So it's six to four at the moment. The last one, because you could use either side. What was the last one? I can't remember. Um, the green is gorgeous. Although Barbara makes a good point about using the stripes. Jim says the gold. Kim's saying green is in the lead. Yeah, green is definitely in the lead. Should we try green and see? Because what I'm thinking is, you know these little bits here? I'm thinking we could do them in gold. Let's go green. Come on, let's, let's do it. Let's do green. If we get time, I'll cut one of the others. I'll cut the pink one as well, and then we can see. Right, let's do green for now. So I'm going to, let's go back. Yeah, you can see the machine, can't you? I keep losing my stylus. So I'm going to say, okay, okay. I'm going to do a background scan. And let's get this going. And then... We'll find, I'll find a piece of gold if I can and we'll cut the gold bits and if we've got time I'll cut it in the pink as well. Okay, so I just, can you see me? Let's see if I can make the background lighter so I can see where it's going. Position it on there. Let's get it cutting for now. Plus also we can see how it cuts with the designer series paper with all the score lines. Green is my favourite colour. Gosh, I couldn't swindle cash out of anyone tonight. Cherie's saying, how much are you going to pay me to say what you want to cut it in? <laughs> oh, bless you, Cherie. What did Cherie say? Did she answer? There's that many comments now. I've lost track of what everyone's said. Right, so while that's cutting, let's come back here. And let's have a look at this one. So we'll start burnishing anyway, in the meantime. Nice try, Cherie. Someone's saying... not quite folded that one exactly right so I'm just going to refold it and re-burnish it but you know for a wedding you could cut these in the wedding colours it doesn't have to be white does it I was just you know trying to see how it would look in white so for a start that's the comparison at 75% so let's So we've got, I'd say two and seven eighths by two and seven eighths by one and seven eighths now, if we make it 75%. Um, Cherie say no I didn't because I held out for the cash. <laughs> oh bless you. 
Good morning everyone, it's 7.17am here in New Zealand, lovely to make it to your live session. Oh, well, hi Julie. Good morning and well done, Kim's saying. Right, let's get this off the mat. So there's that bit. There's that bit. Need to find some gold now. Just bear with me a minute. Got some gold. Now this gold isn't stamping up. This is, my auntie gave me a pack of this. So I'm just gonna use this, but it's still cardstock and it's gold. So I'm gonna put that on the mat. Let's go back to the machine for a minute. Let's say, okay, finish cutting and go home. Retrieve the file again from the machine. It's the last one that we made smaller. Set it on the mat, say edit. That's the bit we want. Let's get rid of the others. So we'll delete that, delete that. We'll say okay, we'll scan this piece of gold. So while that's scanning, Um, let's see what anyone else is saying. Julie, it's 4.30 a.m. here. I wait up for Ashley and she was like, oh, Cherie. So I can see the piece of gold on the top corner of my screen. I don't know, I'll put it back to dark. And then we'll grab, or maybe not. And we'll put these up here and we'll cut these in gold. Select, cut, start. So while that's just, we just give it another rub down on the mat. Hopefully everything will be okay. So if I just bring you back here now, we get rid of this. So this is our little bit. Now the only thing I would say with this is, because of it being so dark green, the dashed lines are not that easy to see but I'm, I'm doing all right I can see them um, just fold this one with my fingers I think with it being designer series paper bring my little silicone mat back in let's get these little gold bits what a fab idea charmaine um right i'm i'm missing comments now so i don't know what everyone's saying so let's bring the gold bits over put them on here now i've just split that so i'm just going to put a little bit of glue in just split the coating of the gold off, off there. So taking it off the mat. So I'll just hold that down for a minute. That's because I just dug my um, spatula underneath it without doing my bending trick. If you bend the mat, the things generally want to pop off easier. So let's undo. There we go. Right, so I'm going to turn these over. Right, let's see what you're all saying, because I'm sure I've missed loads of comments. Um, well, we could possibly go a bit smaller. We probably could. Um, Charmaine is saying, I used to be a popular... It used to be a popular thing in South Africa in the 60s and 70s to give a piece of wrapped wedding cake. That would have been perfect. Cherie's saying, what a thoughtful auntie. I know, bless her. She does craft, um, my auntie. Um, but she does more scrapbooking. But she does make she does make cards. Um, but she got this gold in a, in a pack, I think she said. And she said, there's too much for her. She'll never use it. So 
so she gave it she gave it me so we might as well use it um, so again with these it's not too bad because you know that the gold's going to be on the outside so you know that you're putting the glue on the other side but before when we were using you just have to be mindful of you know if you were using double-sided paper just be mindful which way these go go on so you know like do give them a dry fit so you know how you're going to stick them down um I'm trying to get this done for you all but i'm missing all the comments so just bear with me one minute while i get this done and then i'm going to come back to the comments Uh, I guess that way like so so we'll just give them oh, a few seconds to stick so I can go back and see what's what's being said what a thoughtful auntie oh my god that's dedication right there Cherie wow Cherie good on you for getting up early I know bless her um haven't been to bed yet was doing some stamping while I waited oh um, my sister uses alcohol inks and metallic to create her pictures your green and gold reminds me of that yeah I think that's kind of like the idea that they were with this paper um, the green looks good so you can tell your auntie that her paper has been on international TV. Yeah, I will. Right, so let's see. So I'm going to stick it on the inside again, like I did with the other one. You are doing fine, Ashley. We are just chatting. Sorry you miss out on some of it. It's fine. I just don't want to miss any questions. That's the only thing I'd hate for anybody to go off thinking, well, you know, I asked her a question and she just didn't. Oh, and then see, I hit, I hit my head on the camera then, sorry. I'd hate for anybody to think, you know, they ask me a question and think I'm ignoring you. I'm not, but I try, I do try to read the comments, but sometimes they come in thick and fast and I miss them. So Vicky's saying, at Julie Fairweather, if you type an at and then start typing the person's name, it pops up the whole name. Use the tab key to insert it or a mouse if you get more than one name. Okay, right, so let's, let's, let's do this and see. So hopefully you can see. So I'm folding the, ins the flaps on the bag. I'm just tucking them in. Bringing the handles together and pulling this down and then wrapping this around and we're just going to lock those two little things in to each other, hopefully. And there it is. So there's the first one. And there's the second one. Definitely smaller for wedding favours, I reckon. And it sits lovely with it being kind of triangular shaped. So if I just lie them down side by side for a minute. And then let's see what we're saying. So Jamila's saying, my poor chest is hurting, laughing at you. See why I was looking forward to tonight, even with a chest infection. Oh, bless you. Thanks for your great tip, Vicky. I'm pretty new to live sessions. Well, welcome, Julie, and I hope you can come back and usually go live at five o'clock UK time on a Sunday, but I did have problems tonight, so it was probably well well after half five, probably before I got on. Um, and I do usually try to tell you if I can't make it. I wasn't here last week because I was away with Hannah. Um, so... Let's see what we're saying. You have 45 friends on tonight and you're creating. You always answer our questions. Oh, thank you. I would use very small glue dot on the flap. Yeah. But like I said before, 
the only thing really holding this bag together is this belly band. So there's no other glue involved, but you do have to undo this belly band to get into your bag. So you've got to undo that. You could just undo the front one and then you can get into it. So I suppose what you could do if you wanted to, on the back one, you could, like you've just said, um, Vicky, maybe put a little glue dot under here and keep the back one completely glued, fastened. Open your front flaps, open this little flap on the handbag and then you can get to your goodies. Or don't use any glue. It's up to you. Um, so let's just try and lock that back in there. I think for a free project in Canvas Workspace, I, I think that's lovely. Um, Cherie was saying, Vicky, I was thinking of Velcro dot, yeah. Um, Alison's saying, don't forget to hit the like, oh, thank you, on Ashley's channel. Would be very impressive in black with the gold stripes, yeah. Any colour at all, like I say, the, the 12, the, this one that was cut from 12 by 12 is only in these colours because believe it or not, this pack of cardstock in these like springy colours is the only 12 by 12 cardstock I've got. So I think I'm going to have to invest in some more. But then obviously cut, um, shrinking the, the, the project down by, or no, shrinking it down to 75% has enabled me to be able to cut the, the base of the handbag from A4 and then, you know, I was able to use scraps for the belly band. Could could put the name on the flap of a happy couple. Yep. Uh, Vicky saying to Cherie, good idea. Also, a button or a metallic dot on the outside. Yep. See, you're all coming up with good ideas now of how to use it, aren't you? It would have been handy if the top flap could be tucked into the belly band. Yeah, that. Yeah, I kind of get that slide that in to stop it flapping around that would be a good idea yeah um now thinking how to turn it into a fun fold card <laughs> <laughs> um, patty h is saying i agree they have some cute projects <laughs> and sheree's saying now you're getting too fancy yeah so I, th I think that turned out okay like I say you know it's been a good while hasn't it since we've caught anything of in the canvas projects um Charmaine's saying thank you you succeed in inspiring me oh and JD Cougar's saying I love that I love that idea of colour and Alison's saying it's a beautiful a beautiful bag for free it is and and I and I think so many uses um you know i mean and if you were going to use it as like i said before like the easter idea just use any of your old designer series papers you know kids are not going to bother are they if you've got double-sided paper cut the handbag in one paper and do the belly band you know from another piece or um you know from the flip side or something they're not going to be bothered they're just going to want to get in it and get their easter eggs aren't they you know but um, so JD Cougar's saying I must have not used the right at because it didn't work for me. Okay. I think usually if you type the at and no space and then type, start to type someone's name, the names will appear. Is that what you're talking about? I think that's what Vicky or Cherie was telling you to do. You don't put a space, you just type the at and start to type the name. Um, Maria's saying thanks again, Ashley, lovely session once again. Could make it into an exploding box inside, Alison's saying. See, you're all running with the ideas now, aren't you? You guys are great, because you know, I kind of come up with the 
some projects of my own and then I, and then I, we cut the the canvas projects and then you all come up with other ideas how to use them so if i turn it over you can see the difference in the size hopefully so this is full size this is cut at 75 percent so not 75 percent smaller just at 75 percent okay and you can see the sides of them hopefully how they compare in size what I'll do, um, I'll try and get a photograph of them and I'll make another thumbnail for the for the video. Um, Barbara's saying, thank you again for sharing. Um, <laughs> Jamila's saying, think your brain is working overtime, Cherie. Thea's saying, this is lovely, thank you for the ideas. Ashley, could we have another canva make at some point yeah definitely Thea what are you any ideas in particular I'll see if I can come up with something um Vicky's saying thank you Ashley I never think to look in the canvas projects thanks Ashley for this it's beautiful and thanks to everyone for cheering me up oh Jamila bless you well I hope you've got some medication for that chest infection um let's see what Alison's saying oh boy i've needed this tonight crafting at its best with our ashley oh thank you jd cougar saying i saw canva commercials on tv this week okay vicky's saying can you include measurements of the base and sides with the photos yeah, I'll do a blog post. I don't normally do blog posts for the live streams. I generally just have all the live streams in a live playlist. But I'll take some photographs and I'll do a quick blog post tonight. Um, and I'll I'll put the measurements. So what what what? Can you include the measurements of the base and the sides? Okay. I'll scribble them down on a piece of paper. Um, Cherise saying my brain works day and night I do need a little sleep surely though oh bless you Cherie yes go to bed um, maybe cards they are saying okay so cards in Canva so do you mean like when I did the the teapot card and the dog card is that the kind of thing you mean using do you mean using something that's in there and making it into a card or um, I'm not sure what you mean. Thanks again for your time, Ashley. That's fine. So I think um, it says I've been on an hour and a half, but like I say, we, we probably had at least half an hour chatting, didn't we? Because of me not being able to get on and um, perhaps posting them on the forum. Okay. Funny Jim's watching and hasn't got a clue. <laughs> Oh, I don't know what's going on here. You're all chatting between yourselves and I'm missing loads of comments. No, I I might miss out on something, Cherie's saying. What, if you go to bed, bless you? Oh, no, you need to go to bed, Cherie. <laughs> Put it in the new Sunday Live you made us. Okay, yeah, perfect. That's, a, that's a, actually yes. So on the forum... In the Sunday Night Live. Perfect. Thank you for reminding me about that. See, I made it and I didn't, I, I forget about it. Okay, so I'll take pictures of it. I'll take some measurements. And like, is it Jamila's just said, I'll put it on the forum in the Sunday Night Live section. So for anybody that might be new, if you go to my website here and there's a tab that says forum, there's also a tab that says blog, which is where I normally put all the blog posts that go with my pre-recorded videos. But there is a forum tab. If you go to the forum and if you're a member, there's a section um, that says Sunday Night Lives or something like that. So if anybody's got any questions or anything, after watching a Sunday night live, you can go to the forum and you can post a question. Okay, but yeah, I'll take pictures and measurements. Um, so Alison's saying, 
Night, night and good morning to you all. Yeah, night, night. Take care, both of you. Um, Cherie's saying, just try, just trying to get rid of me now. <laughs> we not, we just want you to get some sleep, Cherie. <laughs> um, Thea's saying, yes, I did. Love the teacup and dog, but anything you can think of will be ideal. Okay, um, I'll have to have a think and see. Um what there is or maybe what, what we can make use of. Patty H is saying, thank you so much, Ashley. You're, you're the sweetest. Oh, bless you. Barbara's saying, bye, everyone. Yes, goodbye, Barbara. And sorry that I couldn't speak to you on the first live. As I say, you were all there chatting away, but no one could hear me. Um, so it took me three goes to get back on. And Jamila's saying, no, Cherie, never. Don't forget to like the channel or thank you. <laughs> Cherie's taking the hunt with us now. <laughs> oh bless right I'm going to go because um, like I say Hannah's been sat with Eddie so I'm going to see how she is because she's been at work today she doesn't normally work on a Sunday um, don't forget to send me those details Cherie I'm going to try and get to the post office tomorrow um, Eddie's at daycare in the morning but he's only on half a day's now at the moment so I'm going to um, try and get to the post office while I'm out and then I will email you Cherie uh, Charlotte saying thanks to Ashley. Great time today slash tonight. Jamila saying, did you see the Instagram I sent? I don't know because like I said at the beginning, my brain's a bit f like fudge at the moment um, because I've got other things going on with Hannah, but I'll have a look if I didn't. I'm really sorry if anyone's messaged me. The best place to message me is just email me. People message me on Facebook and Instagram, and to be honest, I don't always see them. Facebook in particular. Um, I found a message the other day on Facebook that had been there weeks. Um, for some reason, they don't come up on my phone. <clears throat> they only show up when I go on my computer, and I don't always necessarily go and have a look. Vicky's saying the measurements will give us an idea if something will fit in it. It's hard to figure out when it's a complex shape. Yeah, I get that, no problem. Then we... Don't have to do trial and error. No problem. That's fine. Right, I'm going to go. So I'm going to say take care and stay safe, everybody. And hopefully I will see you all next Sunday. Um, Jamila, I honestly don't know if I've seen that, but I'll have a look. Um, can you wait till I'm at the door before saying goodnight, please? <laughs> <laughs> right I'm going um, you, you kill me you lot you're so funny you really are um, right I'm going to go I'm going to take some pictures do some measurements and then I'll go and post it on the forum okay so take care everybody